And, uh, we're back guys and this time let's make the tile okay so we're gonna start by making um, a street uh, one way so we can use it after for the cross uh, and basically what we want is to get uh, guides okay so we're gonna go make sure in the view okay you show uh, guides all right you guys great uh, smart guides also you guys it's very important um, and show the extras basically all right um, well actually you don't have to Uh, and you just grab, so you can grab right here those things, those guides, you know, to delimit stuff, to create a limit. We want our road, let's say, have two on each side, basically. So start at two and go to five, so that it's nice and tight. So we'll grab from here, and we'll go all the way to two, basically, right there. And we'll grab another one. We'll go all the way to five, basically, right here. Okay, um, that's pretty much how it works. Uh, we can do it the same way here, so we can make for sort the of cross if we want to. So we'll know what exactly put it after we copy it. Uh, but that's pretty much how it works. Oops, sorry. Right. Right. I like to be very accurate. Um, I was right on top of it. There you go. Okay, so you know now uh, where the street should be and where the grass should be. Okay, so number one, uh, we let's take, um, let's create one street. So let's make um, another layer actually and cut it straight. All right, right here. Okay, and the first thing we're going to do is that the straight is right here. So let's make a selection. And we can snap to those guys if we want to actually. Oh, we are in fixed size. Let's change from normal back. Okay. Uh, we could actually definitely um, snap to, all right, um, to the guides, for example. So now you are going to be snapping to the guides. Uh, which works for me pretty well right here. And for the straight, I'm going to take the ground. To, uh, I'm going to take the ground. So I'm going to go to the mud first of all. And I'm going to do. I'm going to copy and paste it here. So now I got a little stripe of mud, and I'm going to call that straight mud. So I remember it. All right. Do the same thing for the ground. All right, I'll go to select and I'll reselect. Okay, and I'll go on the ground, I'll do the same thing. Copy, and I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to paste that up. Right in. Okay, so now I got basically, and I'm going to move that under, and I'm going to call it straight um, ground. Right? Okay, so now we're, we're pretty good with that. What we need to do now is actually uh, recreate uh, a little bit of chaos, you know. So let the mud appear uh, under. So let me make that bigger for that situation so we can zoom in and so forth. All right, you guys. And basically, a straight line are what shows the most, all right, in a human brain. So that's the one you want to take out. Okay, so we'll start with the mud. We'll go right here with the uh, the brush, and um, what we're gonna do is that we are going to uh, basically get down the opacity. Okay, maybe like something like that. It's better to come back a couple of times in the same place to erase and actually you create opacity, um, you know, than anything else. Okay, uh, we don't really care about the seamless. We'll add, deal with that after again. Okay, what we want to deal right now is to let a little bit of the road up here, I mean the dirt, right here. And we can come back to it to let it appear more. Well, on both sides of our road. And like that, I'll show the path to people where to go. All right. So now we've done that, we're going to do the same thing a little bit with the, uh, the ground under it, you know, and the grass basically. Uh, not as close though. Okay, see right here, we're starting to let, the, let some of the ground there. 
all right so basically to make it organically organic and like it's melting with it and we'll play with that even more okay I'll, I'll delete and let's see that a little bit um, let me go back to the mode a little bit and take some out a little bit more no, that's too much. Let me make the brush smaller. There you go. Like that. Alright, same for the straight. You need to be careful. Right here. Alright. Uh, not bad looking at all and now we got those two ideas well the thing is we can now uh, we need to what we could do now we need to uh, the grass needs to be played out with uh, with dodging and burning all right at pretty big scale that would work and the exposure down though again always down the exposure stuff you guys all right and now you can you know start see that's even too much way too much in history let me get my history window right here. In the history, basically, I'm gonna oh, no. it was too much burning, and that's because it was too intense on the exposure. Uh, you gotta get that exposure really low and ready uh, to make it look really organic. And now you can go up. I'm on the straight, so that's not gonna work either. Let's go on the grass first. Okay. And you can do the grass like that to give me a little bit more, you know. And you can change the pattern a little bit, so if you want to coloring it, you don't have to though. Um, and then the other side, and you remember, it'll go only on the grass because it's layered out like that. Uh, all right. Okay, now it's time to get the looking a little bit better. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing uh, on the uh, mud and the ground, basically. Right here, see, so we can delimitate where it's going. Okay. Right like that. All right, and recreate our road, basically. You know. All right. Now we have a tile basically like that. Uh, there's a lot of things that could be done. Uh, basically, what you should be doing is should duplicate the layer right here, the grass layer, and uh, the one under right here should get should be turned yellow by using a layer, a new adjustment layer, uh, a UE saturation, basically. And after that, make that one invisible, and on UE saturation, make it yellowish. So it represents the roots. Okay, you still have that on. Let me merge those layers. And basically, on that one right here, you do the same thing um, that we did earlier for the erasing right here. Uh, but, uh, you know what I'm saying, right here. So you show the yellow of the road, the yellow roots of it, and that gives more depth to your work, basically. See, it recreates some beveling. And um, right here, you just work it out. It's 32, maybe a little low on that one. So we might, might want to go a little faster to really show it. You know, under it, and it works pretty well. I always like that trick. Uh, now, um, now we need to recreate the first tile. You just need to basically uh, select those right there and uh, rotate them to get the second tile. Okay. Uh, I'll see you later for uh, more videos.